Welcome everyone to VM Blog's VM World 2020 coverage. Today we're excited to be speaking with Kathleen Walker, who's the Director of Product Marketing, and James Barnes, who's the Product Manager at SolarWinds. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having Happy us. Happy to be here. So maybe we can start by, if you can give our listeners a quick overview of the company in case they haven't heard of SolarWinds before. Yeah, SolarWinds is a leader in the IT monitoring and management space. Uh, we're really focused on providing powerful and affordable IT infrastructure management and monitoring software. We try to work really close with the IT professional to identify problems that are very time consuming and difficult to solve and figure out a way to make their lives easier by providing them more visibility into what's going on in their environment so they can do troubleshooting faster so they can get to mean time resolution faster and therefore you know focus on more exciting projects and so one of the things we've been talking about with folks is this whole recent uh you know ma massive shift towards working from home employees are going from the office to uh, working out of their houses. You know, what are your thoughts on this and how has that changed things at SolarWinds? You know, I think it was certainly abrupt and it definitely created a lot of challenges for our IT department in terms of just how quickly they needed to enable everybody at home. But I think the, you know, as this is rolled out and progressed, I think really we're getting more positives out of it than, than negatives just in terms of, you know, now all of a sudden, most people work with people that are already outside of the office anyway. And it was a great level set where there's nobody in a conference room with one person on a, a conference bridge anymore. Everybody's on a conference bridge. So it really facilitated communications and enabled those folks that weren't in the office to be more effective, I think. And then I think we've also just demonstrated as a workforce across these industries that we can definitely be effective and productive at home. We don't lose focus. You know, it, the fact that we are able to be safe is, is important to really minimize distractions. The working from home thing can really be a non-issue in most cases. And I want to, since we're here talking about VMworld, um, maybe you can tell us how you guys partner with VMware and what your relationship is with them. Really what we do with VMware is we provide tools that help monitor their environments. So when we talk to the to our customers, you know, they're the, the systems administrator, they're the network administrator, they're in charge of monitoring the IT infrastructure and understanding what's going on at any point. Are there, there problems right now? Are there problems uh, forming? You know, how can we, we keep things up and running so that the workforce is productive? So when it comes to, obviously, virtualization is a huge part of that. You can't just watch a physical server. You can't just watch an operating system or a switch, or you need somebody to kind of take all these components and bring it together into one view. And that's what we're able to do with products like Virtualization Manager, which fits into the, the rest of our, our product line to provide that depth of information into the virtual environment so that um, we can uh, see it all in one view, we can see it all together and understand if there is a performance problem, like what is the source? Is it a network issue or is it a VM that's, that's run out of resources? And that sounds like a great jumping off point if we could maybe dive in a little bit deeper into uh, your different technology offerings and maybe explain to viewers what makes you know, the SolarWinds product unique or differentiated in the marketplace. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think the product that's most relevant to this audience would be our virtualization manager product. And um, that really what that does is, again, kind of deep dives into what's happening in your virtualization layer. So not just kind of the ongoing performance. Are there any specific issues going on right now? but the ability to do capacity planning, the ability to identify and address VM sprawl, the ability to just kind of reclaim resources that might you know, have been taken up by, by workloads that have been abandoned. 
you know, it gives you the ability to, to clean up your environment, to make sure it's humming and um, just keep, keep things productive. I think the way that we stand out in the market is that a couple of things. One is that we're really focused on building tools for, you know, the IT professional. So we focus on being, you know, simple to use, simple to deploy, affordable, um, so that you don't have to go through major budget hoops. You know, that's one way that we tend to differentiate. Another is that we give a single view into your whole infrastructure as opposed to just one, you know, point solution for one particular part. So that's another way. And then, you know, finally, you know, really what we see is that our tools can work in tandem with some of the more, uh, you know, the vendor tools like VMware offers where I can identify where a problem is, I can get some recommendations on how to fix it. And if I need to do any deep diving, I can pivot over to the VMware tools and, and go in and see that. And then finally, uh, one more point to make is that, you know, while, uh, you know, VMware obviously has a huge scope into this virtualization space. There are some other vendors out there and we give people the opportunity to look across multiple hypervisors for all the information I've already talked about. And uh, normally around this time of year during VMworld, uh, a lot of companies uh, have new product offerings or uh, announcements. Is there anything that you can share with us that uh, SolarWinds is doing? And Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know this audience is obviously, you know, VMware fans and so are we, but one of the things we just recently did was incorporate Nutanix into our portfolio of hypervisors that we support as well. So that's one thing that's new and maybe we can touch upon that a little bit in the demo portion. Yeah, and, and I guess speaking of that, if there's, uh, you know, James, if there's a way we can jump in and uh, I'm a visual guy, so, and I know SolarWinds product has a great UI, so if there's something you can uh, give us a demo on and show us what it looks like. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'd like to show here will reflect a little bit of what Kathleen was speaking to, which is we aren't just specifically a virtualization monitoring platform rather we want to give you a holistic view of your infrastructure and that includes everything from the network the applications the servers obviously virtualization is a key part of all that but what we're trying to do is give you information about the virtualization tool that you're monitoring in the context of everything else so where i've started here in the screen that i'm sharing this is the summary the landing page if you will when i log into solarwinds orion the platform that vman lives on what i'm presented with is a selection of modules the solution is modular so you kind of can add the pieces that you need that are relevant to you you could go all the way from networking down to virtualization databases applications logging web servers even ip address tracking device tracking but there may be situations where in your environment, some of those things aren't relevant. It's very modular approach. So you add the things that are relevant to you. And in this case, focusing a little bit on the virtualization, I would go from the high level view, which shows me my overall infrastructure and maybe jump down to the virtualization summary. When I land there, what I'm given, and again, throwing back to what Kathleen was saying, a vendor agnostic view, if you will, this is a single pane of glass where you can see on the upper left, I've got VMware resources, I've got Hyper-V resources, I've even got Nutanix resources. Nutanix being the most recent thing that we've added to the product, uh, support for Nutanix. Uh, what this allows me to then do is very basic and expected things like drilling into the cluster level or the host level to get details. For example, let's just jump down to a host level. I'm gonna get a detailed view of what's going on with that particular host, that particular entity. And I can follow that from the basics such as CPU, memory, storage. And again, I'm at a high level here at the host, but then I can also, for example, pivot into the individual VMs themselves. And again, the same kind of detailed view where I can break out performance metrics that help me to troubleshoot or understand what's going on in my environment, even plan out capacity into the future. If I'm tracking something like CPU usage after a period of time, I can use that 
stored usage history to project what's going to happen in the future. So we obviously want to set a very foundational level of data out for the customer to see table stakes, if you will, things like CPU memory and storage. But we also want to kind of take that out into another level. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is the depth of information that we're giving you. So it isn't just simple monitoring where is it up, is it down, is the CPU running hot? We want to give you tools that take things kind of out to that next level. I can give you recommendations, for example. Again, looking at a, a certain period of time, I look at that data and then on the back end, we've got some an analysis that runs and says, there are problems in your environment and I can make suggestions for how to resolve those. So it speaks a little bit to ease of use, making it more automated, more simplistic to kind of manage my virtualization resources. I don't have to do the guesswork of, well, if I'm, strain in this resource over here, how can I alleviate that strain? The tool kind of does it for you. It makes suggestions. Your workloads would be better balanced if you move these VMs over here or if you took these workloads and moved them to a different data store. I can also provide capacity planning recommendations, looking out into the future, create visuals that allow me to run different scenarios, just run a checkup simulate adding extra VMs to this resource, simulate adding extra host computers, run all that and then present a visual example of what that's gonna look like in the future. Additionally, I could, Kathleen alluded to this as well in what she was speaking about, recover resources. You know, it's all too often that virtual admins run up against situations where VMs get spun up and forgotten about, uh, snapshots just kind of run amok you can really have a degradation of your environment when those things aren't under control. And it's very hard sometimes to find those problems. Well, we make it very easy. We bring it right up to the surface for you. You know, that's the view I'm showing here, showing you places where you're under allocated or over allocated or things that have been abandoned, things that have been powered off for a very long period of time. You might be able to recover some of those and kind of get some of your resources back and as an example, you might avoid adding a new physical ESX host when you find if we just clean up some of this mess, we're okay. We're not as constrained as we thought we were. So those are the kinds of things that we're aiming for. When we approach the subject of virtualization, we want to not just give you the basic monitoring data, but we wanna give you some intelligence about that data as we gather it and present solutions and automation. You know, If I have a workload that is exceeding some threshold, maybe I just want the tool to move that for me. I don't wanna to have to go manually move it around. So we make that a possibility as well. Automation, simplicity of monitoring, proactive rather than reactive. Those are the things that, that we're kind of driving at. And of course, there's a number of other features here uh, and we could certainly dive into some of those, but wanted to pause and you know, see if anybody had any feedback on what we've shown so far. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, <clears throat> obviously since the last time we spoke with you guys at uh, at VMworld last year, uh, you can tell there's been significant changes to the to the UI, and uh, I really appreciate the way that uh, you know VMAN is is now all incorporated into Orion, so that there's this you know one console that uh, you could see everything storage and networking and virtualization. So this is uh, you know, this has been really great. Well, thanks for that great demo. Uh, where can folks go if they want to find out more information about SolarWinds and some of the stuff you talked about today? Yeah, I think there's a couple of places that you can go. The first would be just solarwinds.com um, under a product section, look for virtualization manager and you can get some more information specifically about vMan. Um, not only just, you know, the, the basics in terms of what the product does, but you can also get access to our online demo where you can go in and explore yourself. And then I always also like to recommend our THWAC environment. This is where customers come and share information about how they're using the products and best practices. And that's thwack.solarwinds.com. Um, Great. Well, thanks for joining us today and uh, hope we get to see you in person sometime if uh, these <laughs> reopen. Yeah, it has to happen sometime, right? <laughs>
Definitely. We'll get there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from our cloud technology partners, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and if you want to get notified next time we post a video, please hit the subscribe and the bell notification. Very important.